Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on highest common factor. The highest common factor, which is shortened to HCF, is the highest number that will divide evenly into two or more different numbers. Now let's look at some questions. Find the HCF of 18 and 24. Now the solution. Now the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. The factors of 24 are these numbers here. Now what we have to do is find the number that occurs in each list and it's the highest number. So let's have a look. Let's go across to 6 here. So there's 6 that also occurs there. There's 9 that does not occur here. 18 does not occur there. So there we are. The HCF of 18 and 24 is 6 and what that means is 6 is the highest number that will divide into both of those two numbers evenly. Question 2, find the HCF of 36 and 54. The solution. Now this topic is very straightforward if students know their tables very very well. So the numbers that divide into 36 evenly are these ones here. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 9 of them. So all those 9 numbers, they divide evenly into 36. The factors of 54, they are these numbers here, and there are 8 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, what is the highest number that appears in both lists? 12, no, that doesn't appear there. 18, yes, that appears there and there. 36, no, that does not appear, so look at this. 18 is the highest number that appears in both lists so the HCF of 36 and 54 is 18. Now we're finding the highest common factor of three numbers. Remember we said the HCF is the highest number that will divide evenly into two or more. So here we have three numbers. The factors of 12 are these ones the factors of 18 are those numbers and the factors of 45 are those numbers. Now what's the highest number that occurs in all three groups? Well two doesn't, let's see three, there, there and there, so so far three does, four doesn't, six doesn't occur in this one and twelve doesn't, so it's only a very low number however there it is there so the HCF of 12, 18 and 45 is 3. Question 4. Find the HCF of those four numbers. So you can also have four numbers. So firstly let's look at the factors of 30. There they are. The factors of 36 are these numbers. The factors of 45 are these numbers here and the factors of 48 are these numbers here. So let's look at the highest number that occurs in all four lists. Let's try, we'll start off with 3. There, there, there and there. Right, let's go to, that's the shortest list, so let's go for 5. That occurs there, but it doesn't occur here. Try 9. 9 doesn't occur there. 15, 15 doesn't occur there. And 45, that doesn't occur. So, look what happens. That one, that one, there, and there. So the HCF of 30, 36, 45, and 48 is 3. Find the HCF of those four numbers. The factors of 24 are those ones. The factors of 30 are these numbers, the factors of 48 are these numbers, and the factors of 60 are these numbers. Let's look at the highest number that occurs in all four lists. Right, let's go for four. No, that doesn't occur in that one. Six, there, 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 and there. 
8 does not occur here, 12 doesn't occur there, and 24, no, so 6 there, there, and there, and there. So the highest common factor of 24, 30, 48, and 60 is 6. Now we might ask, how do we apply this idea or this topic to real life? Well, here's a very interesting problem. Let's have a look at it. Paul has 18 lollies, 24 pens, 30 rulers, and 36 erasers. He wants to give the same number of each item to his friends, and he wants to give everything away. What is the largest number of friends that can benefit from Paul's generosity, and how many of each item will each person receive? So that's an interesting one. Let's find the factors of 18, because we have 18, 24, 30, and 36. The factors of 18 are those numbers. The factors of 24 are those numbers, because we have 24 pens. The factors of 30 are these numbers, because we have 30 rulers. And the factors of 36 are these numbers, because we have 36 erasers. Now the HCF, that's the highest number there that occurs in all four groups. What that means is, this is the maximum number of friends. So the maximum number of friends that can receive all the prizes is six. But how many prizes of each element do they receive? Because you've got four different prizes, see? How many of each do they receive? Each friend will receive three lollies, because three sixes are 18, because remember the HCF is six. Each friend will receive four pens, because four sixes are 24. Each friend will receive five rulers, because five sixes are 30. And each friend will receive six erasers, because six sixes are 36. So that's a very interesting everyday problem, and that's how you apply the, the HCF rule to solve such a problem. Here's a very interesting one. Notice these four numbers here. What is the HCF of 3, 5, 7, and 11? Now, in earlier videos and lessons, say, for grade 6 or year 6, we looked at something called prime numbers. And you should be able to recognize that those four numbers, each of them is a prime number. Which means the factors of 3 are 1 and 3, the factors of 5 are 1 and 5, the factors of 7 are 1 and 7, and the factors of 11 are 1 and 11. What's the highest number that occurs in all four groups, or all four lists? 1. So the HCF is 1, because they're all prime numbers. Though this video has introduced us to the idea of the highest common factor, and we've seen how to solve an everyday problem using this idea.